Welcome to Word for Your Day, February uh, Friday, September the 10th. I have loved you with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31, 3, NIV. God's remedy for depression, 5. Let's take a moment and look at the kind of self-talk that can lead to increased feelings of depression and keep you stuck there. For, extent, for example, instead of simply saying, I made a mistake, we say, I'm a total failure. Instead of saying, I accidentally tripped, we say, I'm a clutch. Instead of just saying, I fell down, but I'll get back up, we say, my life is over. And when we label ourselves with such titles, we reinforce our problem and many begin to feel, uh, to feel worse. Let God change the harmful misconception you have of yourself. Such as, if someone criticizes me, it means I'm worthless, or I have to be loved and accepted by everyone in order to feel, be fulfilled, or I can't admit an area of weakness, I must be perfect or else I'm a failure. Those are the kind of misconceptions that can increase depression. Jesus knew the importance of correct thinking when he said, you will know the truth, and the truth shall set your feet free. John 8, 32, and you know, living. The good news is you can live free from depression. How? By establishing a personal relationship with Christ. This may not automatically cure all your depression, but without him, your life, in your life, you don't have the power to change. When Christ came into your life, he gave you a new purpose, new power, and a new perspective. Amen. You need something greater to live for than your own, own interests. People who live only for themselves can often not end up depressed. You need something bigger, something that draws you out of yourself. And that something is a relationship with Jesus Christ. Through him and appropriate medical help, you can conquer depression. Amen. That's solid news there. Good news. It's all about Jesus changing your life. So we thank you for that word today. And we give you praise and honor, Jesus. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.